Injection Molding 101, the six different types of plastic molding. You can find plastic components almost everywhere from household appliances to medical parts and for packaging beauty products. Based on research, plastic production worldwide increases yearly with an estimated value of 1.6%. These products are manufactured using an array of plastic molding techniques which we intend to dissect today. Injection Molding Injection molding is a common process used to manufacture identical parts of varying sizes and shapes. It involves melting the plastic granules and then injecting them into a mold under pressure. The injection molding process is highly repeatable and precise. Additionally, it is compatible with many materials and generates little waste. However, the high startup costs are its major limitation making it unadvisable for small production runs. Injection molding has applications in products with intricate shapes and high-precision requirements, such as electrical connectors, medical syringes, and valves, among others. Extrusion In this process, the plastic granules enter the barrel through a hopper before it gets into the rotating screw. As the screw forces the plastic forward, it passes through a heated region of the machine. The molten polymer is then extruded into a die leaving a sturdy component as it cools and solidifies. The leading advantage of the extrusion process is that you can create parts to any length. Hence, it is useful when manufacturing pipes, window frames, wire insulation, and deck railings, etc. Blow molding. Blow molding works by creating a tube-like plastic known as a parison or preform. The machine transfers this parison into the mold cavity. As the mold closes, a blowing nozzle supplies pressurized air directly into the parison. The applied air forces the hot parison to take the shape of the mold. As the final part cools, the operator cuts out the excess material. Blow molding is mainly used for hollow components such as water and soda bottles, storage tanks, plastic drums, etc. Compression Molding Compression molding is different from others. It is a process where powdered or loosely granulated solid plastic is directly placed into a mold. Then, place the materials in an already heated mold and close the two halves tightly. Apply enough pressure and heat to ensure the plastic completely spreads over the mold cavity. Open the mold and take out the final part. Compression molding is a cost-effective process due to its minimal raw material wastage and simple mold structure. It is suitable for producing solid parts, including video game keypads, mobile phone protective cases, medical syringe stoppers, etc. Thermoforming Thermoforming uses a combination of heat, pressure, and vacuum. Thermoforming involves heating the plastic film to make it malleable. The heated material is then stretched over a forming mold to give a three-dimensional part. A key advantage of thermoforming is the speed. It can produce many parts in a cycle. However, this process is limited to thin-walled parts. Thermoforming is suitable for producing packaging blisters, food and medical trays, automotive dashboard panels, etc. Rotational molding Rotational molding, also known as roto-molding, in this process, the operator transfers the powdered plastic material into a hollow mold. The mold is then rotated slowly along two perpendicular axes as heat is applied. As the mold rotates, the plastic coats the wall gradually. After sufficient cooling, the operator stops rotation and opens the mold to remove the final part. Rotational molding can produce very large parts including storage tanks, liter bins, diesel fuel tanks, etc. However, this process may produce bubbles in the plastic part that may affect aesthetics. How to choose? There is no standard way to go about this. You need to consider factors like the material you are working with, the intended size of the final part, how complex the part's shape is, the speed of the process, and how long it will take to get your products to market. Finally, you should evaluate the overall cost and determine the process that fits your budget. We've introduced six plastic molding processes in this video, each with its advantages and disadvantages.
If you are unsure about which one is the best fit for your project, feel free to contact Rapid Direct. We have a team of professional engineers ready to support you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.